everyone. Today for dinner, I am going to make chicken teriyaki and rice. I'm using the quick cooker. I use it all the time. I honestly, truly do. This is what it's gonna look like, hopefully. So um, the, the recipe calls for cooking the rice in the uh, quick cooker, but I've already got leftover rice from yesterday, so I'm just gonna use that. And I'm gonna make a couple of adjustments to the recipe um, I'm gonna make more chicken than what it's called for. And I got a, I've got a couple adjustments to make. So the first thing is grated ginger, but I am out of ginger root. So I had some ginger paste that I'm using. And then in here, it calls for a quarter cup of soy sauce, reduced sodium. So I'm using my soy sauce and I'm using my marim rice. Well, this is Kikamon, Kikamon, sweet cooking rice, um, wine, and then honey. And that's what's in here, and I've got it all, you can see the honey here. Oops. So I just got to get it in my bowl here to whisk it with my ginger. Okay, now it calls for garlic, four cloves. I'm gonna put in here of garlic. And I'm gonna use the garlic press. And what's really good about this garlic press is you don't have to peel it. You don't have to peel your garlic. So I'm putting the whole thing in here and I'm just gonna squeeze it in. And then it all just comes out like that. Let's see, I'm gonna put about four. We like a lot of garlic, so. So you don't have to touch the garlic um, when you're pressing the garlic, but I just stick my finger in here. It comes with a little tool to clean this out with Sometimes I use it if I think about it. Like today I didn't. I'm gonna put an extra garlic in here. That last one was a little small. All right. Okay, so in the stainless steel pot, I'm going to add my chicken. I've got some um, chicken breast. Who This breast is actually, there's two really big chicken breasts and they're both pretty frozen still, but that's okay. And they're gonna go right in here. And then my chicken legs, because I don't like chicken on a bone, um, John's gonna get the chicken on a bone but it's gonna be quite a bit of chicken. All right. So I got all this chicken in here. See, it's full of chicken. Now I'm going to pour the sauce that I had whisked together over the top of it. I don't know if you've ever used a pressure cooker um, or if you have the quick cooker, but this is really an awesome way to cook. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of water in the bottom of this um, because there's 
you know, there's a lot of sugar. In, well, the honey is very sweet. And I just feel like I probably should because I have a lot of chicken in here. And that's it. So I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put my lid on. Now remember, I know I've showed this before, but I want to make sure that everybody knows that your icons here need to be lined up. This button needs to be flushed, okay? And this red button needs to be down. That means um, there's no pressure. If When you see it like this when you're cooking, you kind of see where it's raised, okay? When it's raised like that, that means it's under pressure. Like this means obviously there's no pressure. So we're gonna put this on. All right, so it says um, we're going to turn this to, to chicken, chicken and poultry. And it says to adjust the time but I'm not going to because I do have extra chicken in there and some of it's frozen. So I'm gonna leave it go at the 15 minutes. It should be all good to go and I hit start. And now um, probably take about 10 minutes or so for it to come up to pressure. And then after that, it'll take probably 15 or so minutes to cook. And then I'll let it do the natural release, which will allow it to cook just a little bit longer because I wanna make sure that frozen chicken's done. Um, so I'll let you know how it turns out. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.